my video, I am in a different setting today, as you can tell. I'm at my mom's house. She just got her cabinets done, and they look beautiful. She's also getting um, her backsplash redone, which is why that whole wall looks like crap. But <laughs> um, it's gonna it's gonna look beautiful, and I cannot wait to show you guys the finished product. But she just had her cabinets done. She had her new some new appliances put in, um, and she's asked me to come and organize because you know I'm pretty dang good at it. Um, so today I'm actually organizing one or two of your cabinets, Mom. Just a pot. Her pots and her pans. So. I bought her some stuff. If you guys want to know how to organize your pots and pans underneath cabinets, I will also have everything I use linked down below in the description box. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I do it, and hopefully I figure it out before um, I leave or before she leaves. <laughs> um, and again, I also have Annabella, so you guys know how that goes as well. You guys have seen her in every one of my videos. Um, and let's get started. So here you see that I have been just taking everything out of the cabinets. That's the first thing I do is I take everything out. I lay it either on the countertops or on the floor. Because my mom had heavy things, I put it on the floor. She did get a new set of pots and pans that you saw. I think most of them were pans. I did get this rack from Amazon and I will have it linked below in the description box. This rack you can use for pots, pans. Um, the lids for the pots and pans, you can even use it for plates, um, and many more ideas to use this for. Um, you'll see what I use this for, but I love it, and I might consider getting one for my house. <laughs> One main tip I want to add to this video is to make sure when you're going through um, organizing a cabinet or a room to get rid of things that you don't use. My mom would collect all those plastic containers you get from restaurants when you take your food home. I think it's so gross, but I had her throw them away. <laughs> don't keep things just to keep it. Make sure you get rid of things that you don't use often, that you don't need taking up more space.
a baby. Oh, yeah. Look! 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 Okay, now when I was ready to start putting things back into the cabinets, I was asking my mom what she used all the time. The items that you don't use as often and maybe you just bring out for the holidays or for a special occasion, I try to put in different cabinets or I put them to the back. Whatever you use the most, I put in the front. Um, and then the pots and pans, I did by size, whatever fit in what. Um, her second cabinet, you see me just kind of rearranging it just a little bit and putting some of her baking stuff on one side and again, some of her holiday party stuff to the back um, where when it's time to reach it, she knows where it's at and then the stuff that she does use on a daily basis is up in the front. I have finished my mom's cabinets and they look a lot better. I will have um, this rack in my description box if you guys are interested in purchasing it. I got it off of Amazon. It was not very expensive and it looks really, really nice. Um, you can actually put your pots in it. That's what I was hoping to do, but our cabinets would not let me. <laughs> they were on the short end. So. Um, with that said, that was the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do so. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!